Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these little mini envelopes that you can use as embellishments or send them to your pen pals, whatever you want, um, without using a punch or the envelope scoreboard or anything. All you need is paper, scissors, um, your cutting board if you have one. If not, you can just use a uh, ruler and scissors and some glue and embellishments. So um, let's get started. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is depending how big you cut your paper is going to determine how big your envelope is. So you're going to need an equilateral square so it has to be uh, all sides equal. So this for example is a 2x2 two two square, this is a 3x3 three three square. If you go bigger it's going to be a bigger envelope. So if you want a teeny tiny one, do 2x2. Two two. If you want like one like this, then do 3x3. Three three. Just depends on what you're going for. Um, I really like this size though, the 3x3. Three three. I think it's like the perfect size for embellishments. Uh, but anyways. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cut your paper down and this is a great way to use your scraps because all you need is a really tiny piece of paper. So I'm going to cut it at 2x2 two two to make a mini envelope. So 2 by 2 as you can see, all you need is a teeny tiny piece of paper, um, unless you want to make it bigger. Okay, so now you're going to want to turn it over. Oh my gosh. And now there's two ways to do this. You can either measure it with a ruler. So you want to measure the middle, so you mark the middle right there. If you don't have a ruler or if you don't feel like doing that, you can just do this. So you're going to bring this little corner right here over to meet this one and just hold it there and then pinch right here so you can make a little mark. You don't want to fold all the way through, you just want to pinch right here. And then open it, you see we made a little mark there and you want to do the same thing going the other way. Oops. Uh, I already did that way, so let's do this way. So you're kind of making a triangle shape or a taco, whatever you want. <laughs> and again, just make that little mark. And then when you open it, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but you end up with a little plus sign right here. And the middle of the plus sign is the middle of your square. So uh, that's what you need to do. Then you want to bring this little corner right here to meet that point in the middle that you just marked, like so. And this one you want to fold all the way through and do the same thing on the other side. So bring the corner to meet the middle, like so. Now, <clears throat> instead of folding it right here as you normally would, you want to fold it about up here. So don't fold it right here, fold it up here, if that makes any sense. So you want to make this little point come uh, to the same level as these corners right here, if that makes any sense. I don't know how I can do this and show you guys at the same time. So you want to bring it up to meet these points right here, and then you're going to end up with this envelope shape. So you just want to fold it make your creases and that's pretty much your envelope now just fold down this flap to mark it that's gonna be your little uh, opening flap so here you can do a few things you can just leave it like this and put some glue right here if you don't like the shape you can cut it around and make like a, uh, a round shape you can tuck in this triangle piece just tuck it in and then it'll be like this. Uh, what I like to do is I actually like to snip off the excess right here. So I like to go like this. So then it's like just a nice triangle shape. You don't have to do that. You can just leave it how it is. Um, that's just what I like. 
then you end up with something like this. Uh, let me just, I'm going to snip this part off. Like I said, this part is a personal uh, choice. So now you're just going to want to add a little bit of glue right here. I'm just going to snip off a little bit of this too because sometimes the white peeks through and that's not cute. So you're just going to add a little bit of glue. And close it. And there's your little mini envelope. How cute is that? So now I have these little pieces of paper that I pre-cut. I get this gold toilet paper from Michaels and just cut it to fit. You can use any paper. You can use white paper and write a message on it. So just tuck it in and look how cute that looks. I like to put a little bit of glue so the paper doesn't go anywhere. Just a little bit. Oops. Okay. And now you can just embellish it how you please. So you can use like little puffy stickers. Um, you can use these little bows. These are from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can use pretty much anything that you want some little pom-poms these small stickers that come in these little sticker sheets you can pretty much do whatever you want you can hang like a little tassel from it um, I like to add these bows I think they look super cute like that and then you can even add like a little embellishment or award sticker so it's really up to you sorry about the noise it just depends on how you want to decorate it um, if you use the same paper collection and make a bunch of them it re looks really really cute as they will all match so yeah guys that's how you can make a cute mini envelope um, so as you can see here you end up with the little plus sign right here most of the times you can't even tell because the piece of paper is patterned and you can just put this on your projects but if you don't want that mark right there uh, instead of folding it like we did in the beginning just measure it with your ruler just measure the middle of the square with your ruler so yeah guys that's how you can make these super cute envelopes um, I hope this video was helpful if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next one bye